All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining today. Uh, I'm Jonna from Skyline LASIK. I'm here with Dr. Brett Nelson, our LASIK surgeon. Uh, I'm going to just run through what's going to happen, and then I'll give uh, the mic over to Dr. Nelson here. So we're going to go through uh, several things about LASIK today. Uh, at the end, we'll go through and allow questions. So if you have questions throughout, you can actually just uh, click on the question box on the right-hand side of your GoToWebinar and uh, ask questions throughout. And at the end, I'll read them directly to Dr. Nelson, so your questions will get answered. Um, and then if there's anything that comes up along the way um, after the Q&A, we can address those um, afterwards as well. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the microphone over to Dr. Brett Nelson. Hi, good afternoon. This is uh, Brett Nelson. Uh, I suppose I'll do a quick mic check. Uh, Andy, are you hearing me at least? Yep, you're all set. All right, great. Uh, so, forgive me, the web, webinar format's a little different for me, but, uh, and there's some slides that Brandy's going to be clicking through, and unfortunately, I don't seem to have the ability to look at the same slides the same time you are, but, uh, so I'm going to go through the slides kind of quickly so that I can get your questions at the end because I think that's probably the most valuable part of things. So, uh, Brandy, if you can go to the next slide, it should be a slide about how we're, what we're doing to keep people safe during the COVID times that we're living in. Uh, we're doing all the CDC recommendations, trying to keep six feet apart for as much as humanly possible. Uh, everybody gets their temperature checks when they come into the building, uh, myself included, and all the staff. And um, and we're all wearing masks, and uh, we're sterilizing everything between patients. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just mostly the big difference is everyone's wearing a mask, and um, that's not too difficult really to accommodate. And uh, if we go to the next slide, Randy. Um, talks about how we're sterilizing all the equipment between uses. Uh, that was always been true, so. That's not really a change for us. And then uh, next slide. Um, so it's going to be a quick review about how LASIK works and, uh, and what to expect if you choose to have a LASIK procedure. Um, and it talks about some of the usual questions, uh, how it works, does it hurt, how safe is it. And we'll just go to the next slide here and we'll talk about those things. In order to talk about it, uh, I have to review just a little bit of eye anatomy here. And the most important thing you see in this slide is your cornea up at the front. That's the first thing that the light hits. And that is where we're able to do LASIK, change the shape of the cornea to make sure that your light is focused on the retina properly. So if you have an eyeball that's too long or too short or a funny shape, you end up having to have glasses to see clearly. And the way LASIK works is it dials the prescription into that cornea so that you don't have to wear glasses anymore. Um, how it does it, if you go to the next slide, it can permanently remove some tissue. I tell people it's like having a power sander for your tool, and you can use this sander to reshape this, the, the shape of your cornea. The middle layer of your cornea is called your cornea stroma, and uh, when you reshape it, it kind of stays that way forever. It doesn't change over time, and that's how the procedure works. Um, go to the next slide. So what are the, the three steps to making LASIK happen? Uh, we have to make corneal flaps. We use a, a blade-free femtosecond laser. Ours is a interlase, which is uh, an extremely fast version, which is nice. Um, the second step is using the extra laser to reshape the underlying corneal tissue. And then the third step is to put the flap back. Uh, the flap bonds quickly and heals very quickly, kind of overnight. Usually the next day, you see it much better. And then we go to the next slide. Uh, this is just talking about how there used to be traditional LASIK with a mechanical keratone. Uh, I've done quite a few of those. Uh, they work well, but the bladeless version is better. Uh, it's safer. You can kind of see how the, how the flap is being created in real time. And if there's any problems with the flap, you can kind of stop what you're doing. And, uh, and, and if there was a problem, you know, with the flap, it's almost as if it never happens. So uh, the blade of this is definitely safer. And, uh, and these days with our 
future laser with the IFS is actually quite cool. It's about 15 seconds for the laser to make the flap. Um, that used to be a downside to build this as it took longer, but that's not really true anymore. Next slide. Uh, this just talks about the lasers that we have. We have the blade free femta second laser, uh, the interlays, and we have the Alcon Wavelight DX500. Uh, and then, uh, boy, they're, they're, they're some of the nicest lasers on the, uh, in the world. Um, the Alcon Wavelight is extremely fast. It's probably the fastest. Uh, I used to have lasers that were much slower, and the treatment used to take a minute or a minute and a half. With the wave light, it's you have to be really nearsighted for it to be more than 20 or 30 seconds. It's it's quite fast and uh, and more accurate, so um, it makes things easier for everybody involved. Um, next slide. Uh, the DX500 also has uh, enhanced our ability to do something called the contour treatment, which uh, uses the topography shape of your cornea to uh, provide micro adjustments to the prescription so that we can often get people even one line better than what they saw before in terms of clarity of their vision. It analyzes uh, 22,000 distinct elevation points and creates a customized treatment based on those elevation points. Uh, and uh, uh, the bottom line is it's better than what you can achieve with traditional glasses when you're, so you're gonna ask somebody without glasses, uh, you run you're into the limits of what people are able to perceive, with, uh, which is better, one or two, which is, and with contour, we can measure your eye and provide a custom treatment that's uh, even more accurate than what most humans can pick out. So next slide. Um, so you frequently ask questions, what are the risks? There's a risk of uh, undercorrection, overcorrection, glare, halos, Dry eyes. Those are kind of the big risks that I know over. And uh, the good news is this works extremely well. It's extremely accurate and reproducible. But it's a little bit the laser, a little bit your healing, and you can heal plus or minus from where we're aiming. If that happens, that's not the end of the world. We can do uh, enhancement because that sounds better than a do over and often get you closer to the target there. Um, all of them are kind of reshaping the central part of your eye. Some of the light rays can go kind of outside those central six and a half millimeters or so where we do the laser treatment. And those light rays can contribute to glare or halo problems. The risk of that goes up as you talk about higher and higher treatments. So somebody, for example, gives a minus one, is extremely low risk, but you get to be more than a minus 10, it's a fairly significant risk that you might have glare and halos because we're having to reshape your eyes so much. Uh, but the benefit gets higher and higher. Uh, the people who are minus 10, they can't see a thing without their glasses. And so uh, although this risk is there, it's, uh, um, I, I don't you see so much better than you did before that I think it's definitely worth it. Um, other things, uh, can you get rid of glasses or reading glasses? This comes up a lot. Uh, all of us lose our ability to accommodate, to change our vision I change our focus for up close. Somebody between the ages of 40 and 50, this hits everybody. If I make you perfect for distance, uh, when you get to be 40 or 50, you're probably still going to need for reading glasses. Some people who are already 40 to 50 might choose something called monovision, where they do one eye for distance, one eye for near, as a sort of a compromise to get around this. And we'll be talking with you guys about this if, uh, if that applies to you. Um, people ask, well, it hurts. Uh, there's, uh, we're very good at numbing you up so you don't really feel this. In order to get the flat made, there's a time on the suction ring, and that's probably the most uncomfortable part of the whole thing. It doesn't really hurt, but you feel that it's kind of a pressure. And, uh, and then actually doing the laser, you don't feel a thing. You kind of hear the laser make some noise, but uh, it's not something you can feel. And when can you return to work? Uh, many people are returning to things the next day. Uh, most people, a lot of times we do this on a Friday so that people can get back to work on Monday. And that's a very reasonable, uh, little recovery time. Um, yeah, so the next slide, we talk about some of the risks. Well, it looks like I already touched on all those. Uh, I guess I didn't mention infection. Infection is extremely rare. A bad infection can cause you to lose vision or, or uh, do with the best corrective vision. Um, thankfully, not kind of something I've never seen yet. Uh, 
And then it talks about flat competition. You can't have a flat that is wrinkled for some reason. If that happens, you can, you can iron the wrinkles out. It's also extremely rare. Um, yeah. And it touches on uh, most competitions are extremely rare and almost all are easily corrected with an enhancement procedure. And uh, I would say that is true. Um, many people seeing 2020 or better, it's obviously it was like 92% of people so didn't get 2020 or better. So that's, this is very, very accurate, reproducible, and, and safe technology. I'll go to the next slide with the uh, speaking last questions. Can you go to my glasses Oh, man, I touched on all these already. We can skip that one. So it hurts. We talked about that. Scratch for the first week. Maybe we can jump into uh, arguing candidate, Dr. Nelson. Can. Do you want to get to that one? Oh, say that again? You can probably skip to are you a candidate. Yeah, there we are. Are you a candidate? So uh, you need to be 18 years or older. Uh, this is to make sure you have a stable refraction. When you're younger, you're still growing and the prescription might change. You don't really want to laser on moving targets, so to speak. Uh, you need to be over on good health. Uh, it's a prescription for at least one year and uh, no other eye diseases. Um, and sometimes people can have an irregular shape to their eye that makes them not a candidate. And we kind of screen for that using some topography measurements and, uh, and doing the exam. We'll be checking for these things. Um, yeah. The vast majority of people are candidates, but up to maybe 10% of folks may not be. Let's go to the next slide. There's stuff in major collections. It's uh, an initial consultation. This is where you can kind of check your eye health and uh, your prescription and make sure you're in the range where the laser can be done for you. And uh, yeah, there are about 10% of folks that aren't candidates, um, but for most of us, uh, this works very well. And uh, there's not really sales pressure with this, but mostly just kind of make sure it's the same thing you can do for your eye at that exam. And uh, but then if you are a candidate, you can set you up for the next process to get your done. The next slide, so you've got the preoperative exam. Yeah, this is where they want to kind of double check your measurements to make sure that we've got the most accurate exam and the closer. Uh, your contact lenses can reshape your eye a tiny bit, and so we like you to be out of your contact lenses. The type of contact lenses sort of matter. Most people are in soft contacts and so need to be out of them for three days before we do the measurements. Uh, hard contacts, we've got to wait two weeks. Well, yeah, the third step, the survey day. Um, we like you not to wear any makeup or uh, too much perfume can actually interfere with the laser, so uh, we have to go to the cologne. Um, you're going to come in and cut the clothes, you need a driver to get you home because we're going to give you uh, a volume of uh, medicine that will kind of kick some of the stress of the experience away. Um, and then we kind of chip and check the numbers, you numb your eye, you do a little something to keep your eye laid open and, uh, and uh, make the flop, and then make the flop, do the laser, and uh, do the same thing for the other eye. It takes about 10 minutes to do both eyes. And then we let you go home. Afterwards, that first day, sort of the rough day, it'll feel like it must be the first day. Most people are seeing better and feeling better than um, day two. Um, Next day, um, you know, I tell people about your vision is about 85 percent the first day. There's still a little bit of swelling that needs to go away, but you can feel much better than that. You like you have to go swimming, circling, snorkeling for one week, and give you five days before you do the eye makeup, just because we don't want you to poke at your legs or crap in the party. Um, we make sure and check here. Usually, if we're doing it on Friday, we see you back on Monday. If we're doing it on a different day, sometimes we'll see you the next day, depending on what the schedule's like. But basically, we see you in the first one to three days, and we see you uh, again in a week, one month, three months, six months, and we It's kind of a usual follow up care. Uh, next slide. Um, our prices are uh, quite a for, for LASIK, but uh, because we have a brand new laser and uh, and the blade that's for everyone uh, for the custom treatment is $4,450. Um, and that's from Contour and the whole everything. And we are running a special promotion for you guys who attend this briefing. 
and then they get $450 off of it. So it's $4,000. And yeah, I think that's it for the slides. And I want to thank you for your attention. At this point, uh, let's see if I can get to any of the questions people might have. Yeah, so, so far, um, there hasn't been any through this process, but I'll give everybody a few minutes here to uh, pose any questions um, on the, the webinar panel, uh, and then I'll adjust them with Dr. Nelson here. So I'll give you all a few minutes to ask any questions. One comment common question that might come up is, uh, have I had the procedure? And the answer is yes. I had the laser done back in 2005. So that might give you some sense of how confident I am that this works well. Any other questions? So one person had asked to go back a slide, so I opened that up. Um, let's see. Uh, the other question is, is there a military discount? Um, and that is something that we can connect with you um, afterwards on. Right now we're offering just the, the 450 off LASIK um, for the webinar special, um, uh, but we can, can talk offline as well. Um, and then the question is, that's related to, uh, for Dr. Nelson here, after surgery, do you have to wait a few months to be able to go to the beach? Uh, to the beach, uh, one week. One week and you can go back to the beach if you've got LASIK. I'm sorry, I, some of that broke up. I'm not sure if I got the question right. Yeah, you were, you were correct. Are there any precautions you need to take when you are interacting in high-impact sports or, or you know, potentially traveling or, or, or doing water activities? So uh, all, all ophthalmologists will generally tell you it's not a great idea to get poked or smashed in the eyeball, and that's true whether you have LASIK or not. But there's not any additional precautions people take. I tell you these, these flaps, they heal very well, and they're kind of covered over with a, a skin layer, an epithelial layer of your eye. Uh, I tell people if you're going to hurt the flap, it's kind of like trying to pick up a page of a book. You have to catch it right at the edge. And that is uncommon to do. I've uh, yeah, been doing this for about 20 years, and I've only seen two people who've managed to crinkle their flat by open their eye. And both of those injuries were the bad injuries that were going to not going to be great, whether they had magic or not. But uh, both those cases, we we folded the flaps, smoothed the flaps out, and, and they ended up uh, back to 2020 in the end. Um, so no, there's not any special precautions. You know, if you're uh, as ophthalmologists, we wear eye protection to do everything. You know, if you're sawing something, if you're banging metal, 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 if you're using a weed whipper, wear your safety glasses. For the same reason, everybody should wear safety glasses. But, uh, yeah, we have people running around doing all sorts of things with their eyes, and um, I would say there's, there's not really an additional risk. Perfect. And then this one is more directed towards financing. Is the zero percent financing through you guys, or is that one of the companies listed? Um, so actually, the zero percent financing is through uh, Care Credit or Green Sky. And if you wanted to look at pre-approval, you can actually visit that page on our website, um, and I can send that link out to the group here too, uh, just to see if you all want to um, pursue that further. You can get pre-approved before you do come in. Um, are there any other questions? I, I ran through the list so far, but I don't want to cut this short at all either. So if there are additional questions for Dr. Nelson, I can uh, give everybody a, a few more moments to, to throw those out and then we can address those. Um, if there aren't any questions, then we can also wrap today. So I'll wait just a minute here just to see if there's any additional um, and then we'll go from there. I appreciate you guys uh, attending the briefing, and um, yeah, hopefully we can 
help get you out of those glasses. So um, there's no additional questions, Dr. Nelson. So uh, I just wanted to let everybody know that you can call or text our, our phone number, which is 719-630-3937. Uh, and if you schedule your LASIK consult consultation and surgery by June 30th, you can take the 450 off LASIK. Um, we're, our consult slots are, are filling up just because there is a demand after you know being closed for, um, for dealing with COVID-19, but feel free to um, give us that. We'll get you in as soon as we can. So you hopefully can be glasses free before the end of the summer. We look forward to hopefully seeing you all soon. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Dr. Nelson? No, no, thank you very much for putting this together. And uh, yeah, appreciate the, uh, the forum. Thanks for attending. Great. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for attending. We'll also send out a recording afterwards as well if anybody wants to re revisit this. So just uh, watch your email. Oh, it looks like we might have one more. Um, one more question about scheduling and uh i'll address that question offline with you if you don't mind on the on the scheduling um aspect there i'll, I'll shoot you a quick note afterwards um other than that i think that's it today so um if anybody has any questions feel free to reach out call or text us um you know send us a note on on our website as well uh we're glad we won't always be a source of education for everyone so even if you just have a basic question and you're still investigating this process give us a shout um we're here for you through your lasik journey so um we look forward to hopefully talking to you all soon and have a wonderful uh weekend everyone thank you for attending